All right, what's up, guys? It's Mark Parson, cornerback pro, former NFL cornerback, and now I'm coaching you guys. All right, so we got another clip, Garden Odell Beckham. I like it in the practice film so you can see the real deal stuff. Um, these guys battle all training camps, so you really get the, the best of the best because they kind of know each other's techniques, so they got to work even harder. All right, so it's Eli Apple. I'm not sure if he's still with the Giants or not. I don't think so. Um, but we're down in the red zone. This is very tough. This is a really good job by Odell Beckham, so we're going to get right into it. Make sure you guys email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com if you want to become elite. If you want to get to that next level, that's why I'm here. All right, ask me for the training programs, mind and body, one-on-one -on -one mastery. Again, one-on-one -on -one mastery. Look, that's what we're doing. At the end of the day, look, it's always like this, especially in the NFL. You're going to be playing more man coverage than you ever imagined. And then at the elite college level and then. High school, obviously, the camps, Nike camps, rival camps. So you need that type of stuff, man. You need to know all the techniques and how to improve your skills. We're going to get right into it. Let's watch it. We're down in the red zone. He does inside shake, outside kick step. All right. All right, so I'm not a big fan of doing inside shake, outside kick step. But. You can do that. Like I said, Richard Sherman does that a lot. Um, like Seattle Seahawks, they do that 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 um, technique where you inside shake, outside kick step. I think he's in. Yeah, he should be inside. So the first thing we do when it comes to techniques, we got a, a plethora of techniques to use. That's in the one-on-one -on -one mastery. Now, first thing we got to do, which he does, which Eli Apple does a great job of, is what? If we're down here, he's outside the numbers. We're in the red zone. We must not allow him to, to get an easy slant on us, okay? So that's why we'll be inside shade. That's number one. Um, number two. Let me show you. I will say this. Receivers. Odell Beckham does a really good job of taking, and, and Billy McMullen, one of my, um, one of my receiver guys, He's a All American UVA great um, third round draft pick. You can find his information at uh, Wide Receiver Nation, WR Nation on YouTube. It's his uh, channel similar to mine. Man, he does a really good job of taking weak shoulders, man. So you notice, like, if you watch high school, if you if you if you watch high school uh, one on ones like the Nike camps and stuff, a lot of their high school guys just immediately go off. They don't like being touched. So I always tell my corners, yo, yeah, exactly. Don't just Open a gate on these guys. Like, get your hands on them. They hate it. They don't know how to operate when, <laughs> when a corner gets their hands on them. But you receivers, you notice, like, the high school guys just run really wide, which helps the DB. It helps us. Well, if you notice, Odell Beckham right here takes the weak shoulder. So when we – now, look, it's hard for us at corners down here because we got to play so much harder inside to be able – so at the end of the day, Eli is actually in good position right here, okay? Yeah, he really is. Now. Over here on the field, I would say not to open the gate as much, right? But down here, we got to take away the slant. So he doesn't he doesn't open the gate tremendously. He does what he can do to stay inside, protect his inside leverage, but still be on him. So he does a good job, but Odell does a really good job of taking that weak shoulder and really, really pressing the field. So I would say this, getting up the field, I would say this, corners, we could be a little bit more stout, meaning if we get a chance to – if he runs into us like this, if he comes at us, we have to we have to be a little bit more stout, man. So that strike, that's what I would say. Let me go back. Because I'm going to show you why. So right here, bam, right here. Just a little bit more stout. Because I'm, I'm going to do, and I'm going to count it for you. The quarterback has a certain amount of time before he got to get rid of the ball. Especially not a running quarterback. Now, if it's a running quarterback and he can get loose like Russell Wilson, look, you got to plaster to your coverage. But a guy like Eli Manning, he's not going to run the ball. To, you know, he's not going to run. He's not going to create more opportunities with his feet. So he got about four to five seconds to get rid of the ball. So every second, every millisecond counts. And if we strike really strong right here, I'm talking about a nice firm strike, instead of just putting our hands on him, that, slow, that, that slows Odell Beckham down. Now, I'm going to show you another thing that Odell does very well. This is why, yo, if you can guard the best receivers that, you know, in your town, that's what you want to rep against because it's the little things. I'm going to show you. 
So Odell Beckham takes this week's shoulder because we got to be a little bit more stout. We got to strike. That's why I say uh, join MMA or boxing courses because he's in good position. But, a little, you know, like I said, we got to strike and be a little bit more stout. Watch what Odell Beckham, watch this change of tempo. So he takes the weak shoulder, stutter step, bam, it ain't right there. You see? So receivers and corners, listen to this. That's why I really recommend all my corners to, to learn from Billy from when, uh, when it comes to a receiver standpoint and learn what they're, what they're thinking. Billy always talks about, he's one of the best receiver coaches out there. He's just, he, he knows, he teaches drills, he teaches all of that, but he teaches mindset and, and the concepts of receiver. He always talks about abruptness. So you don't have to be, so everybody's like, oh, I run a 4-2, I run a 4-3. That's great because that's going to get eyeballs on you. But look, when it comes to route running, you don't have to run that fast. Odell Beckham is not the fastest receiver in the league, but it's of suddenness, it's abruptness, and that's hard to guard. And the only and DBs, the only way you can really get good at guarding that <clears throat> is going against elite receivers. Watch this. Such that, uh, see that abruptness? So if receiver, well, actually all my corners should be playing receivers in high school at least. You should be going both ways. So think abruptness when you run your routes. Think, you know, um, it's suddenness. And in my corners, th those are the guys who you want to guard. You want to gu guard guys that got that quick twitch um, type of attitude, that quick twitch muscles, you know. Um, because, I mean, look, Eli, at the end of the day, I'll say be more stout right here, and I'm going to count it out for you. But look. <laughs> His eyes were good. He had his hands on him. He was with him. He's on the back line. It's not like he looked the other way. But Odell just, he just out athleticized him right there and out, you know what I mean? Out skilled him. You know, I like how he finished. He finished strong. So at the end of the day, it's a tough route to guard. He's a tough receiver to guard, but we got to do our best. We got to do our best to make it happen. Um, Let me count it out for you. Ready? One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Ball's out. So you see what I'm saying? I talk about five seconds. If we can just be a little bit more stout and have a stronger strike, that can that can change that can li literally change the game for us in this route. Because right here, bang. You see how like Odell is kind of like dictating. He's dict. We're impressed, man, and he's dictating what's happening. And I always talk about we need to dictate whether that means be more aggressive, um, strike strong, you know, have a more firm strike, make him think we're going to do one thing, we do another thing. You know what I mean? But right here, Odell is controlling the whole situation. And he does that by taking that weak shoulder, pre you know, getting up field, pressing it, change of tempo, and then suddenness. So, you know, like I said, uh, and I don't know. Does he have his eyes on him right here? I think you know what that might have been. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, now I see it. I see it. Okay, so eyes. So this is gonna be the final part. Watch our eyes. Watch Eli's eyes. You see that? Now look. The thing is, especially on that back line. Again, knowing your personnel, when you're going against Eli Manning, you know that ball's coming out within that five seconds for the most part. You know, there's always some exceptions, you know, like in this, I think that Super Bowl where he got free and then threw the ball up and old buddy caught it on uh, Harrison. But the ball's coming out. So when we're running that back line like that with the receiver, let me see. So there we go. So when we're running that back line with the receiver, yo, when you plaster, we used to call it plaster to your coverage. You should be looking at Odell only, okay? You should be looking at him, looking at his eyes, and I think he got the vibes on. But you should be able to feel certain routes and feel him moving. Now, he had his hands on him, which is good, but just be mindful. Eyes need to be on him. I wouldn't look back too early, you know? So it's like an internal clock as well, you know? This is all, and this is professional. This is this is pro ball. So you, you notice how how many different things are working all at once. And then you can only get it by guarding this guy, a guy like this, over and over and over again. And and knowing, you know, when you study your film, like, okay, I see what I did wrong. We all go through it, and that's how we get better. 
So the more times you fail, really, that's... And then you have somebody like me to show you, hey, this is what you could have done better. That's how you improve, right? So there's a lot of things at the end. Like I said, make sure our eyes don't look back too early. So I see what, what created the separation at the very end, but you also see at the very beginning what we could have done to in, improve our chances of guarding probably, you know, arguably the best receiver in the game right now. So hopefully you guys are learning so much from these and getting better. You know, uh, imagine yourself guarding Odell Beckham. So right now it's April 2nd, 2018. I don't care if you're in a youth league, rec league, flag league, high school, college, NFL, CFL. Imagine yourself all, imagine yourself guarding the best receiver. And what you, now that you watch my channel, you got my programs, how would you have, what technique could you have used against Odell? Imagine that. You know, literally every morning, you should be doing that anyways for at least five to ten minutes. Imagine yourself playing in the league. Imagine yourself, you know, hearing the crowd with the pads. You got your pads on. You're about to go against Odell Beckham, you know. And then you make a play because you have nice technique. And then you you score a 90-yard touchdown. That That's the type of stuff you should be doing anyways. Deion Sanders always talks about it. He, he, he talked about how he used to dream the night before uh, making plays. So once it happens, you've already been there. It's not a surprise. You, you've already been here for years, every morning, every night. Imagination creates reality. I promise you. All right, guys. Email me, cornerbackpro at gmail.com. Ask me for the training program so you can get all the techniques so you can ball out in your Nike camps, rival camps, um, you know, in your all -star, college all-star games and in the NFL, NFL players. I train NFL guys as well. All right. Hall of Fame, Super Bowl, let's get it. We got to be the best ever. Peace.